Oh, Pollux. Pollux. Oh, Pollux. Today's video is all about Pollux. I cannot get him in the shot with me. I'm gonna tell you all 20 crazy, interesting facts about Pollux that I have never told you before. <laughs> things that he loves, things that he does not like, his quirks, his habits, just things Pollux does that I don't think I've ever mentioned or shown you in any other video. Today's video is 20 things you never knew about Pollux. So Pollock starts off every single morning exactly the same way. He actually sleeps underneath our bed. Pollock doesn't come out from underneath our bed until he sees me up walking around in the bedroom. And then he slowly makes his way outside of the bed. And every single morning before I open the bedroom door, I bend down and I give Pollux a sweet, sweet hug. So I wrap my arms around his neck. He takes his head and he wraps it around my arms. He hugs me back. And that is how we start our day every single day. Then the next thing we do is head into the kitchen and I open the back door so the dogs can go out and potty. Then they immediately come back in and those boys are ready for breakfast. So Maxie, this sweet little guy back here has food aggression issues. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that. And that was one of my main concerns when we adopted Pollux as I was afraid that feeding time was going to be an argument. It was going to be an issue. But because Pollux grew up in a shelter and I think he just had to wait his turn to get fed. And Pollux knew the minute we adopted him, to wait for Maxie to finish eating. He just instinctively knew it was not his turn. So when Maxie's eating, Pollux patiently waits his turn. He goes and lays in his dog bed and plays with one of his toys, or he will lay in the living room and play with the toy, or sometimes he'll get in his tent. And he very patiently waits until Maxie is finished with his food and walks away from his bowl. And then Pollux will get up and come into the kitchen and enjoy his breakfast same routine for dinner time. After Pollux and Maxie have had their breakfast, I always make myself a cup of coffee and I sit on the couch and I just kind of have the time to myself. And one of the boys is always on the couch with me. And it kind of is really whoever gets there first. A lot of times it's Maxie, but a lot of times it's Pollux. But if it happens to be a morning that Maxie makes it to the couch first, Pollux lays in the floor in front of our sliding glass door. I always keep the door open for him and he will just lay there sometimes for an hour and he just watches outside. He watches the birds and the squirrels and listens to the sounds of the morning and he is just so peaceful and so content when he can see outside. So you all know that Pollux grew up in an animal shelter. He was there for 491 days before I adopted him and he did not grow up eating table food or people food or getting snacks all the time. He was fed two meals a day, one in the morning, one at night, and that is all Pollux knew. Well, when he came into our house, he still gets those two meals a day, but anytime I eat or anytime my husband eats, the boys get a little nibble of it. That's just how it is in our house. And we just give them little bites, I promise. It's, we're not overindulging him, but we do give them people food. So Pollux has gotten really good at catching popcorn. Randy loves to, anytime we're having popcorn, toss it to Maxie and Pollux, and Pollux has gotten so good at catching the popcorn. He almost never misses it. Maxie, on the other hand, not so good. Oh. So close. Do it again, Pox. Show off. Thanks. Oh, got it. <laughs> One more, Dad. Three in a row. All right. Maybe can you get it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I thought he had it. But Pollux is a pro at catching popcorn. Pollux is super picky. If you give him something he's never had before, he is really gonna sniff it and inspect it. He's gonna drop it on the ground. He might nibble it and then drop it again. He's really gotta decide if he wants to eat that or not. But some things I've learned that Pollux hates, wants no part of, never gonna like them. Blueberries and bananas. 
Go figure. Most dogs love blueberries. No, not Pollock's. You give him one, he drops it. I don't have any fresh blueberries, but I do have a bag of frozen blueberries. So let's give one to Pollux and see what he does. I've never tried to give him a frozen one before. Let's find out if he likes it. Wanna take it? Hold on, I got one for you, Pollux. Let's see, Pollux. You want it? Oh, <laughs> off he goes <laughs> into the dining room. This is where his like tasting area, everything goes to the rug while he figures out if he's gonna eat it or not. Moo, did you eat your blueberry? Uh, no. Oh, you're gonna try it again. Pollux, did you eat your blueberry? No. It's right here. Oh boy. And something else Pollux won't do, the boy will not lick off of a spoon. If I put peanut butter on the spoon and you know, give it to him or there's yogurt on here or anything, he won't do it. I have to scrape it off onto my finger and he still doesn't like to lick off of my finger. He's super hesitant. He will get it done though. Most of the time he like bites it off of my finger, but he absolutely will not lick off of any kind of utensil. Smucker's natural peanut butter. One of their favorite things. Puts them on the back of a spoon. For both boys. Mooey. <gasps> well, Pollux, you made a liar out of me. You are licking that spoon. <laughs> He's never done that before. <laughs> Mooey said he got no problem with the spoon, Mom. All right then, well, now that I know, you'll take peanut butter off of a spoon. Pollux and Maxie are always playing. And I mean always, at least once a day, sometimes two and three times a day, those boys are playing together. Pollux is usually the instigator. He will start this little funny little throaty growl sound at Maxie and he'll get his booty up in the air and start wagging his tail. And Maxie is like, oh buddy, it's on. And the play sessions can last 30 minutes sometimes. There are times when I have to break it up because Maxie's an old dude. He will be panting so hard. Maxie can't take it, but he will keep on playing. As long as Pollux wants to play, Maxie will play, and they will run all over this house, playing in the living room, jumping on my bed. They'll be on the couch in the front room. They'll be on the floor. But every day is a play session. They truly are best friends, and they love to play together. You all know that Pollux loves toys, and you know that Pollux loves to play in the wheat outside. Well, do you know that Pollux loves to take his toys out into the wheat? Let me show you what's outside. Just at this very moment, a random moment on a random Tuesday, let me show you the toys that are outside. See that little guy? That's a rooster. Pollux's rooster made it outside by the pool. Oh, buddy. Yep, sure did. And I'm going to leave it there for Pollux. Hey, Bowie. And this is Pollux's wheat. And I am not quite sure what this is. It made it out here yesterday. See that white thing? It is from inside his hide a squirrel tree. Uh, now, look. Pollux just came outside with his buffalo horn. Buddy, oh my goodness. See, every time he comes out, he brings a toy. He absolutely loves it. And this is our doggy door. Pollux will not come in the doggy door unless the doggy door is rolled up. Just like that. <laughs> You're so funny. Buddy, he will duck under and go through the door, but he will not push it open with his nose. Right, bud? You're just not going to do it. It's just one of those things. 
you know that Pollux has two toy boxes, one in the living room right here by his tent, and he has another toy box in my office, identical toy boxes. But for some reason, Pollux will not let me put toys in the toy box in my office. I carry them in there, he brings them right back in here and puts them in the living room toy box. I don't know why, there's no uh, logical reason for it except for he just doesn't like it. Okay, we're gonna get Bunny and Octopus and just, we're just gonna grab some toys and we're gonna take these toys, Pollux, to the front room. <laughs> He's following me, look at him. Oh, Earl's in here. This is the toy box in the front room. We have Henrietta and the pig. Those are the only toys allowed to be in this toy box. Right, Pollux? He's got an eye on me. And we're, uh-oh, uh-oh, baby squirrel didn't make it. And he will drag every one of those toys back out. Just go ahead. I know you're gonna do it. And speaking of my office, this is my office, this is my desk, and Pollux does two so funny. Maxie! Maxie's under the dining room table, digging a hole in my rug. Well, actually, he wasn't under the dining room table. He was up here. Buddy! What are you doing? Oh, he's up there looking for the kitty cats. Mooey, they're not up there. Anyway, back to my office. This is my office. This is my desk. This is where you will find me at some portion of the day, almost every single day. So if I'm editing videos, you all can see that I have a really large monitor. And when I'm editing videos that have to do with Pollux or Maxi, and in the video, they start barking or howling or making some kind of sound. Or if in the video I'm editing, I am talking to the dogs in my doggy voice, Pollux will come up next to me and stare at my computer screen. He knows he's on the screen or Maxie's on the screen and he will watch himself and it is absolutely adorable. And if either of my daughters are in the video, Brecken and Kendall, he will watch them on the screen. It breaks my heart because he misses them so much and he recognizes them on the screen or, rec or hears their voice, I guess, and will watch them. And I, a lot of times I call the girls and we'll FaceTime them when he's doing this so they can see Pollux. And it's like he knows they're on my phone and he'll poke his nose around on my phone to try to communicate and smell the girls. And it is so, so sweet. But I have big exciting news for Pollux. He just doesn't know it yet because Kendall is going to be home for Labor Day weekend. So Pollux is going to get to get Kendall squeezes and booty rubs and get some quality time in with his big sis. If I'm ever looking for Pollux and I just can't find him, he is always in one of three places. He loves to lay right here in front of the couch in the floor, but he only does that if Maxie is laying on the couch. His second favorite place is in the corner of our dining room. Not in his bed, but he will lay in the opposite corner on the cold hardwood floor and he just scans the house. That's his favorite place to be. For some reason, he just loves to lay in that corner or if he is really, really tired, he will go into my bedroom and crawl under our bed and take a big, fat Judy. If I call him, he normally comes, but if I can't find him, he's in one of those three places. And if Pollux is super sleepy or it's really cold out in the winter time, he will get in this chair right here and it is the most adorable thing. He will curl up in a little ball and he tucks his nose and his tail and he goes to sleep. I love to see him do that. The next thing Pollux loves, and honestly, I don't understand this one, but he loves a dryer sheet. 
every time we take a load of laundry out of the dryer, you know, there's a leftover dryer sheet. We will drop it on the way or I'll take my clothes into the bedroom and drop it on the bed or the floor for Pollux and he is obsessed with dryer sheets. He loves to rub his face on the dryer sheets and roll around on them. He doesn't eat them, don't worry, but he just loves to roll around on the dryer sheets. Now, why do you think that is? I can't figure it out. It's gotta be something about the smell of the dryer sheet. Maybe he just loves the fresh smell or maybe the smell reminds him of me and all of our freshly washed clothes. But whatever it is, I'm gonna take this in there to Pollux now and drop it and we'll just see if I can get him to do it for you. Mooey, where's Pollux? Oh, oh, Pollux, look what I have for you, buddy. Come here, come here. You want it? Come here, come here, jump it up here, boop. It's on the bed. Ooh, it's our favorite dryer seat. He booty in the air, rubbing all over it. And he will do that until the dryer sheet is so disintegrated. <laughs> but he loves it. Oh, you love it, don't you, Pollux? You do, you love it. Mooey, I'm sorry, you don't like a dryer sheet, but you're wanting attention. You're going to fall off the bed? Oh my gosh, buddy, watch out. Oh, he's going to do it. He is going to do it. And he has done it before. He has rolled himself right off of the corner of that bed. I'll put you up there. Won't get up there. This usually starts a play session. If Maxie gets on the bed with Pollux, they play. Oh, <laughs> told ya. Look how happy he is. You wagging your tail, buddy? developed a nickname for Pollux. I don't know where this came from or why I started saying it, but I call him Boo. B-O-O. -O, Boo. Go figure. They're still in there playing on the bed. I'll never get it to end. I'm sorry I started the play session. But a couple more things that Pollux does that you've never known about. If Pollux tries to howl, like if the sirens are going off or there's a police car, Maxie will instantly jump up and start howling. And Pollux tries his hardest to do it, but it is the highest pitched, ear piercing little that you have ever heard and it's so adorable because he'll look to maxi to watch and see how maxi's doing it and he'll and try to imitate it but that little howl just doesn't want to come out and what comes out is so high pitch but it is adorable for you all um, and it's in the segment where I have <laughs> some b-roll video of Maxie and Pollux howling like back last year they heard themselves howling on my computer screen <laughs> and both of them jumped up and started howling at themselves and so I'm trying to video them howling 
but I'm laughing so hard I couldn't even hold my camera straight. But this is them howling right now, this very minute. So hilarious. <laughs> Pollux loves to chase squirrels in the yard, and when he gets super excited and the squirrels are in a tree, ah, hey buddy, he will spin himself in a circle while he's barking at the squirrels. He came in here to drag out the rest of the toys from the toy box. Uh, Pollux, <laughs> put the tail down, buddy. <laughs> Whenever I'm gone, especially when I'm at the ice cream shop at night and I come home and Pollux has missed me so much, Maxie will run right up to me, barking, jumping on me, wanting my attention. But Pollux quietly waits in the hallway and he does what my daughter calls twinkle toes. His little front paws prance around and he shakes his booty and he twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. He never barks and a lot of times he will have his favorite toy in his mouth to bring it to me when I come in the door at night. So, so sweet. And then the last thing I'm gonna tell you about Pollux that I know you didn't know is his new love relationship with my husband. It took Pollux a while to warm up to Randy because our theory is when Pollux was raised in the animal shelter, the men that take care of the shelter wore boots and they were all men. And so from the minute Pollux came into our home, he was very skeptical and still is around all men. No, buddy. He just needed a belly rub. But Pollux was always very skeptical around men and still is. So it's taken him a long time to warm up to my husband just little baby steps, little baby steps. But this summer, he started getting on the couch at night when my husband was sitting down, going over to Randy and pawing at Randy because he wanted Randy to scratch him, to rub him, to pet him. And this goes on every night and Pollux will sit on the couch with Randy for over an hour, just demanding to be petted and loved. And it is so sweet. It makes Randy so happy that Pollux has finally warmed up to him and comes to him for pets and kisses and belly rubs and ear scrub. That is one of the big milestones in Pollux's life with us. Well, that's it for all things Pollux. Things you've never known about him, things this sweet boy loves and doesn't love, little quirks he's picked up and habits and ways that he's just developed himself and grown since he's come to live in our house and we love Pollux to pieces. Oh, and Pollux loves ear kisses too just like that. See you later. <laughs>